If you want to trace Jim Bodiford's roots to understand how he grew into a highly respected judge, you would surely start on this porch in this home and in this town. This Powder Springs two-story Queen Anne home built in the early 1900s. His parents, Bob and Jane Bodiford, bought it and raised a family. Today it is the Seven Springs Museum at the Bodiford House. Jim's wife, Nancy, says back then... He loved it. He grew up there and went to sprint to school there. It was a close-knit family. Jimmy, as his dad called him, and his younger brother, John, grew up in a gentler time with hot summer vacations and cold climbs up these wooden stairs. It was cold as heck because they didn't have central heating or central air, and it would be, they'd have to run upstairs and they'd put those little cold things on their feet. Young Jimmy quickly grew into a smart teenager, maybe a bit too smart for the son of a strict disciplinarian, Bob Bodiford. He told me, he said, Nancy, when Jimmy was in 10th grade, he had a smart mouth. And so I told him if he kept talking back to his mother, he was going to go to boarding school, military school back then. Jim told him, Dad, you just go right ahead and I'll, you just send me off. And next thing you know, he said it was the best thing that ever happened to him. The discipline, he learned a lot. And he wore that uniform well. Jim graduated from Gordon Military Academy and later joined the Marines. His military background proved to be a godsend for a 30-year-long marriage. To this day, he folds the best laundry you've ever seen. <laughs> then, after law school, Jim Bonifer began a career as a prosecutor in Cobb County, working under legendary District Attorney Tom Sharon. He started out in the courtroom of the then-Superior Court Judge he, Harris Hines. He was as good a trial lawyer from the criminal prosecution standpoint as I think I've ever seen. He was a marvelous marvelous cross-examiner. Hines, who would later serve as Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of Georgia, saw an openness and transparency in the young lawyer style. He did not worry about the other side seeking discovery. Now, if you wanted discovery from Jim Bodifoot, he would give you the whole file. He, he would open it up. And both Nancy and Justice Hines saw a unique trial talent in that energetic young prosecutor. He'll go up there and he'll, he'll write down his few points. I mean, write dog, house, you know, car. And he'll get up there and he's talked like he has prepared it for months. Bodiford worked hard, long hours, tough cases. The Cobb County Superior Court judges appointed him as a magistrate judge. Then in 1995, voters elected him as judge of the Cobb County Superior Court. I want to get into the, the problem of cause and bond. He quickly became an expert on how to handle high-profile cases. Fred Tokars, a city magistrate judge and lawyer, was accused of hiring a hitman to kill his wife. Courthouse spree killer Brian Nichols. Brent Marsh crematory operator who dumped 334 corpses on his North Georgia property. There are many members of the media here. And Lynn Turner, who poisoned her husband and her boyfriend. This case has received a lot of publicity. It's received national publicity. Jim had courage. He, he, he relished taking the hard cases. Bodiford stayed true to his prosecutorial roots that the legal process thrives with openness and transparency. In each case, he kept courtrooms open to the media and therefore the public. I believe he thinks if, if we show that our system, and I think it's the greatest system of all, if people see that, they will see the fundamental fairness of it. I knew he'd do the right thing. I mean, he was a, that's why he's getting this award, because he truly felt like the public should know what's going on. It's their taxpayer money that's paying for them to provide. In 2014, Jim Bonifert stepped down from the daily grind of trial work. Now he had more time to enjoy his son Ryan and his wife Anna, and his two grandchildren, Lee and Cohen. But that never-ending energy couldn't be stopped. He took time to teach other judges, other judges in other countries, always giving back just as he was taught as a young man growing up in Powder Springs. He's kind, he's fair, he's a good man. Not perfect man, but he's a good man. Uh, good husband, great father, great grandfather. Just a really nice, caring, and loving man. The Georgia First Amendment Foundation is delighted to announce that this year's Weltner honoree is Cobb County Superior Court Judge Jim Bodiford. 
His dedication to ensuring the public and the media have access to court proceedings is a model of openness for judges in Georgia and around the nation. This is a wonderful award. It is a high honor, and you're the perfect person to get this award and this honor. You've made me proud as your friend and proud to call you a wonderful attorney and a splendid judge. Well done. Jim, I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. I love you, and I'm so glad you're part of my life, and I'm looking forward to spending the next hundred years with you.